All right, Care Bears, let's get in the mix. We got to talk to that. So let me just keep it real and let you know what's going on and what we about to do and what I'm going to do tonight. So as y'all all know, I've been gone for a minute, but um, I'm going to tell you why I've been gone. <clears throat> I've been gone because I've been shadow banned. I've been restricted. And I know I say that I said that all the time on my videos, but I said it because it's true. Um, I was restricted. They were unsubscribing my subscribers. They were deleting my videos. And that's just what it is. They don't really like people who tell the truth. So telling the truth has become a problem on particular platforms. So it has become very discouraging when you're trying to grow a small um, a small channel and work and do the things that I'm doing in my regular life. You feel what I'm saying? So I had to step off and reevaluate what it is that I wanted to do. And I wanted to bring in a different type of content, a different type of content to pull more Care Bears to my channel, okay? So with that said, um, I'm going to start reviewing two shows. Um, initially, I asked you guys, how would y'all feel? And this is why this is so perfect. Initially, I asked you guys, how would y'all feel if I brought back a old TV show, Flavor of Love, because I love watching that show. I love watching those old ass reality shows. I like ratchet ass TV because I be watching documentaries all the fucking time. I'm always trying to learn about some new shit. And so, so t sometimes the shit gets so ill that I need a break. I need something so drastically opposite to what the fuck I'm always looking at. You know what I'm saying? I'm always watching David Icke type videos, Joe Rogan, Young Pharaoh, you know, documentary after documentary. So sometimes you just need a break off that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a regular person at the end of the day. So when, when I need that, I watch ratchet ass TV. So what is so great and why I'm making this announcement is, so... With you knowing that I uh, watch Flavor of Love, then you know um, how I feel about New York, which was a contestant on that show, uh, Flavor of Love, which Flavor of Love brought like, I don't know, maybe like 20 women in the house who are all fighting for his love, right? And New York ended up being one of the last two, which she lost on season one and two. I never saw season three because I just wasn't interested. Um, and then New York ended up with her own show. I think she ended up with two seasons. Um, I love New York. New York gets, I love New York one and two and New York gets a job. And now she has a show, um, Breakfast with Tiffany. And I wanted to review that. I think I still might, but let's get to the point. Now, on New York show, there was a contestant. It was the same premise as Flavor of Love. And one of the contestants was Chance. And also his brother, Real. Rest in peace, Real, because he was a fine motherfucker. But the person who fit my personality the most was Chance because he's wild. I don't know why. I like wild ass, wild ass, gangsta ass niggas. I don't know why. I be trying to not do that, but it is what it is, right? So, um, boom. So now, um, so real and Chance, they ended up, I think, being like, you know, three, the last three um, contestants, and she ended up choosing Chance and this big head short neck nigga. I don't know. I, 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 I could only think of his name was like Ninja Turtle. It wasn't Ninja Turtle, but it was something else. Y'all let me know what his name is. But I just knew he was too corny. He had the whole hat. Like, ugh. he was just, Chance was the winner. He had his own money. He wasn't going to be like no bumming ass dude. You know, he wasn't a mama's boy. He was like a cowboy. So I felt like he was more official. 
anyway, they ended up with their own show, um, A Chance for Real Love or whatever. Real and Chance have their own show together. And unfortunately, um, Real ended up passing, um, I believe it was from stomach cancer, which was really, really sad. I was really sad about that because I followed those shows for the most part. Um, not really with Real and Chance, they were really fine, but I was on some other shit during that time. But um, I would catch the show every now and again. The point though, Chance has a reality show on Zeus Network. And I saw the preview for it and I was like, oh, so because I was looking for something that I could do differently to fight this shadow banning issue, to bring a little light to the dark things that I talk about here, even though we, we have a good time, especially when I'm cooking and stuff. But I wanted to do something that was a little bit different, yet still real to me. You know what I'm saying? Something that's still a genuine side of myself with you. So I was like, oh, fuck, yes, I'm reviewing it. Come to find out, I'm like six episodes late. But luckily, the show is broken down um, in a way that I could catch up really quick. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to catch us up because it's Thursday night. And I'm going to catch us up tonight. I'm going to do one and two, three and four, five and six, and seven. And I'm going to review it right now as soon as I upload this. Um, and I'm going to drop them tonight. And then that way we could keep up with them on Monday. And then I'll just uh, review it Monday. I'll just find the Well, actually, it comes on 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. So I could review it Sunday night. I think that's what I'll do since I usually have my stuff done around the house um, on Sundays and I try to make it to where I ain't got to do shit on Sundays. I could do that for y'all and we could have that as our show since I have a long history with these niggas. So let me give you a little story. So I saw the trailer. Nobody knows what kind of woman that I need and the kind of woman that I like better than Mike Mike. Come on in! I'm in the dog. I'm tired. Don't get me wrong. Her body bang, but it's something about that face. I had my quality time with him and he knows I'm definitely not a man. Wow, they sure are. Oh. Can you even yell? Just give me a yell. Ah! Oh, good like that. Wow. God damn, that girl got ass. But the widow's feet were twisted, man. Where she need to see a surgeon. Where'd you get them feet from? Oh, and then you can work wow. with the tits. Work with the tits. I want to strip these girls, man, from their makeup, eyelash. I want them to take the wigs off. Put your confidence right here in this paper towel. Mm. Do not offend me. You still need some work. Oh! Fuck off! Oh. You ain't gotta let your balls tuck. You can let them ride tonight. This. It's natural beauty. This is the real secret. I don't know shit about it. You know why I want to try to watch out for? That bitch is a freak. I'm, I don't give a fuck what you talking about. She probably gonna suck the meat off that nigga there when she gets a chance. Have I ever acted up? Your breath has. I hate that. Face. Politic ass shit. All you bitches is doing. I mean, you're not about to be coming for me. And don't, don't get me wrong, you can come for me. I love pressure. But just be ready for when the fuck I apply pressure. You was cool in the beginning, but she just started acting weird. I can't stand that hoe. She's just not being here. I get caught up ugly every other day. I didn't come here to be attacked nor judged by you guys. Here, I feel like you're not no competition. You know, Likewise, why? Then why am I here? Get across from me. You're from the side. Here. You're side bitch. Then why am I here? I'm not trying to get my heart broken. I'm getting full. Do you think love is here? Can't. Yeah, it's just, just a bit. Our whole time, you, know? you really mean it? Yeah, I really mean it. You know I'm here for you. 
I've never not been anything but loyal to him. I mean, she's already up in his bed doing the thing. I want to be back to my real dick and get my pussy game. Hey, what the hell is wrong with you? We're going to address the phone. We need to address the phone. Yeah, who you been on the phone with the whole time? That way, it's time. Hi, baby. And I was like, yes, bitch, I'm watching that shit. Okay, so I was like, I watched mad previews, previews. So I was like, I don't know, like, I don't know, do I want to, like, keep this to myself when I need a break, you know? Do I really want to fuck with them like that? Then I was like, fuck yeah, bitch. So, um, and I'm just so hyped. New York is back. Like, I fucks with her since I was in my 20s. I was like, her personality, when it comes to niggas, is, we're the same. Like, I don't give a fuck if I fuck with a nigga. But I'm, I'm harsher than New York. Like, I, I am in real life. Like, I'm harsher than New York, so but I, I fucked with her from the moment I saw her because in my time, in my pop lock and drop it days, okay, um, having um, a starlet be not only dark skin, but pretty and not a hood rat you know, comes from a background where her parents got money, you know, grew up in the burbs, like, you know what I'm saying? Even though she had her ratchet ass ways, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it, it just was rare and I felt like I could relate to that, you know what I mean? So I had the best of both worlds in my life, which as you can see, uh, through my diction and the way I communicate, okay? But anyway, I'm excited to share this and review it with you. I know my Care Bears is about to be so hype. So I look forward to doing this. So with all that said, let me know what you think because we're going to have a good time. And let me tell you, I've already started watching it. And this has got to be the funniest motherfucking show that I have ever seen. These, yo. The uh, uh, Mike, Mike, and uh, Chance remind me of me and my baby brother, uh, or, or me and my brothers, when uh, when my brother before my brother was locked, um, me and my brothers when we get together, like, cause we be roasting motherfuckers. So, and my baby brother, he got the hot ones, like he could give you the fucking business. So, yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to this. I took some notes um, because I got to, like, take it seriously and remember names and all that. So, yeah, so I hope you guys uh, watch this with me. Now, I'm debating this other show because it's really not my steez. I think I'm going to just watch it and just shake my head with it. But um, I'm going I'm to try to find something else. Um, that's really real to my personality, and um, yeah, so I'm back on the scene. I'll figure it out, but we doing that for show, and I'm dropping these bitches here tonight, so then by Sunday, we could be on that. I think I'm going to do one and two today. Yeah, I got to do one and two today. Three and four tomorrow, five and six on Saturday because I'm doing overtime all weekend. So um, I've been doing a whole lot of overtime because I am trying to move and I got to do what I got to do to get my dust up so I can have better surroundings and allow my creativity to flow. So sorry I've been missing in action, but I had to do what I had to do. Okay. So yeah. 
I'm out this bitch. I'm about to start recording for um episode season one, episode one and two. Um, when I get off work tomorrow, three and four, Saturday, five and six, and then Sunday I'll do episode seven, so we can be ready for number eight that night. All right, all right. So peace, love, and hair grease, and all that jazz. Make sure you like, comment down below. Let me know. Are you as hyped as me? Share if you care. Share if you dare. Especially if you are a motherfucking care bear. And we out this mug. Peace.